Royal Crown Church of God welcomes you to your place of royalty. Hello, Reality. Good morning, and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, a regular host and anchor to this ministry. Like we used to do, to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. I have the assurance that the Lord has sorted out your issue here. You just have to follow us through our various social media handles and watch the videos uploaded, over 600 of them. Before you finish going through them, you must have discovered how more the Lord has dealt with your concern. Alright? We urge you to use the comment sections for your testimonies as well. Help us to share these messages, let them go viral. The light has no need of that devotion. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for a brand new day. We thank you for a new beginning. We thank you for various impact that you have made in our lives. Lord, we return our honor to you in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, we ask that you teach us by yourself and cause us to know you. Thank you, O oh Lord, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, we're talking about assurance. God's assurance is best and better than any other man. Amen. So, the question now is, what difference will it make for me if I place my full assurance in God? Wow, that is the best thing any man can ever do. You understand me? You can have all your what is it called all your 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 cares on him and he cares for you praise god so now let's look at uh, psalm 35 verse uh, 5 psalm 5 verse um psalm chapter 3 verse 5 i will say i laid down my i laid down and i slept yet i woke up in safety for the lord was watching over me i have had opportunity of being afraid of losing my life to some reasons but god always take care of me now it's uh, in, in isaiah chapter 43 verse 1 to 2 the Bible says, but now O jacob listen to the lord who created you o israel the one who formed you says do not be afraid for i have ransomed you i have called you by name you are mine when you go through deep waters i will be there with you when you go through rivers of difficulty you will not drown when you walk through the fire of oppression you will not be burnt. The flames will not consume you. And that is the absolute truth, the word of God. Praise God. In Romans chapter 5, 15, verse 12 to 13, the Bible said, And in other place, Isaiah said, The hair of David's throne will come, and he will rule over the Gentiles. They will place their hope on him. I will pray that God, the, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then, we want will overflow with confident uh, hope through the power of the holy spirit praise god so in philippians 4 verse 7 i said then you will experience god's peace which exceeds anything we we can understand his peace will guide your heart and remind you as you live in christ jesus praise god so what does that mean to us is that placing your assurance in god gives you inner peace regardless of your life circumstances the god of peace is the only reliable source of true peace amen can we just think about this you know you're not born again and say lord save my soul wash me by your blood write my name in the book of life i want to live and reign within eternity breathe upon me the breath of life save me O oh lord jesus name we pray Amen. Congratulations if I pray this prayer with me and I urge you to keep fellowshipping with us. The Lord has prepared these messages to equip you. You will never miss your steps. You will never miss your direction in life in Jesus' name. God help you. God keep you. God watch over you in Jesus' name. Amen.